गुड मॉर्निंग माई लवली किड्स हाउ आर यू ऑल फाइन वेरी गुड नाउ स्टूडेंट टेन मी कैन वी डू एवरी थिंग आर सेल्फ इज इट पॉसिबल नो इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल वी कैन नॉट डू एवरी थिंग आर सेल्फ वी नीड सम हेल्पर्स यस वी नीड सम हेल्पर्स टू हेल्प अस इन अवर डे टू डे लाइफ isn't it so that we can lead our life smoothly in the same way in the same way in english to frame a sentence to write correct english or to speak correct english we need some helpers so today i am going to teach you about three helping brothers three helping brothers they help us to frame a correct english to write correct english to speak correct english yes today we are going to learn about is am are okay is am are they are three brothers helping brothers they help us again to write and speak correct english okay now as we brothers and sister in our house differ from each other they also differ from each other as we are not same in our food habits in our writing habits in our reading habits they also differ from each other okay so first of all let us learn about is friendship with singular noun when we talk about us one person one animal one thing or one place we use is that means is is having friendship with he she it or any noun singular noun any noun means singular noun means with one person one place one thing one animal okay so we use is while writing or framing a sentence or talking with a with he she it or any singular noun okay when we talk about any singular noun we use is suppose he is my best friend and here i am pointing about only one friend he is my best friend she is going to market she only one girl or one woman and pointing that she is going to market it is a beautiful place about a particular place i am here talking about a particular place it is a beautiful place chama is writing shyama about particular one girl i am talking here that she is writing okay so when we talk about a sing, single person single place single thing animal about a singular noun at that time we use is okay now let us learn about the second brother and and is very shy in nature and he is having only friendship with one that is i and he is having friendship with only i he is very shy in nature only one friend he is having and that is i so when we talk about ourselves when we talk when we say anything about ourselves we use i and we always use i with am that means am is used with i always where there will be i we will use am okay suppose i am a girl i am a teacher i am writing i am going i am eating i am dancing whatever it is when i am talking about myself i use am okay clear now let us learn about the third brother third helping brother that is 
R. Now, again, R is also having many friends. Yes, student, when we talk about more than one people, more than one place, animal, thing, or more than one noun, that is plural noun, we use R. Again, R is also used with you. When we are talking to someone, at that time we use you. Uh, R. When we talk about someone, we use R. Okay? Now, so R is having many friends. So we use R with it. We, more than one, in plural noun. They, he is also having friendship with you. We always use you with R and any names. We dash friends. We are friends. Here I am talking about more than one friend. That we all are friends. Isn't it? They are going to visit a zoo. They are. They means Many people, more than one, they are going to visit a zoo. You are my best friend. When I am talking to someone particular, you are my best friend, that time also I am using are with you and with any names, any plural name. Suppose, Sheila, Meena and Pankaj are my friends. Okay? Delhi, Bombay, Calcutta and Chennai are metro cities. R. Okay. So when we are talking about more than one thing, more than one person place, we use R. Clear to all? Now my dear students, in our book, uh, page number 48, let us take out our book and in page number 48, there are some exercises and some explanations. Let us do that. Okay. So hurry up. Go and take out your book. So let us do some textual exercises. So this is our English book. And open page number 48. Page number 48. Learn about language. Read this conversation between friends. Hi. I am Shilpa. You are Trisha. Right? Yes. Do you see the girl with an orange bottle? She is Pooja. Trisha and I are neighbors. We are best friends. We use I when we talk about ourselves. That we already know. We use you when we talk to someone else. When we talk to Someone else, we use you. We use we for more than one person. When we are talking for more than one person, then we use we. We use am when we refer to ourselves. We use it with the word I. I told you, I is always used with am or am is always used with I. We use is in a sentence that talks about only one person, animal, place or thing. That is singular noun. When we talk about any singular noun, then we use is. He is, she is, it is, Ram is, Sita is. Okay. We always use are with you. We use are in a sentence that talks about more than one person, animal, place or thing. That means when we talk about more than one, that is plural noun. Okay, when we talk about any plural noun, we use are. Question number A. Fill in the blanks with I, you or we. My name is Ananya. Dash play basketball. Here I am talking about myself. 
I am talking about myself now. My name is Ananya. So what I will write? I play basketball. Shreya, do dash have an eraser? Now I am talking to someone else. I am talking to other person, someone else. And I am asking, Shreya, dash have an eraser? So what I will do? I am talking to Shreya. That means Shreya, do you have an eraser? You have an eraser? Let me write. First one, my name is Ananya. Here I am talking about myself. So, I play basketball. Shreya, do dash have an eraser? Now I am talking to Shreya. So, what I will write here? You, do you have an eraser? My friends have come. Dash are going here. Dash are going to the zoo. Here I am, I and my friends are going to the zoo. Here I am talking about more than one person along with me. So what I will write here? We. We are going to the zoo. Dash am three feet tall. With am always I as usual we know that I is having only one friend and that is am. So, with am, always I. I am three feet tall. Okay. Now, come to page number 49. Filling the blanks with is, am or are. Now, this is your homework. This is your homework. This you have to do yourself. Okay, my dear children. So, complete this question number B. Now, up to this much today. We will again meet in our next video. Till then, bye-bye.